and it is uh, for uh, the Cancers and the Leas. Okay, so I see the energy of the Cancers and the Leas. The Cancers and the Leas. So on the 22nd, changes is going to be coming up for the Cancers and the Leos. So what we're doing is that we are going to be checking out and see what is coming up in this year for you guys. So we begin on the uh, 20th until the 26th, okay? So we're going to be checking all of you guys out to see what is coming up. So um, it is um, the change of the guard for this year. And I'm trying to see, especially for you guys, how we can bring in some different sort of changes that is going to be coming out. Um, because I want you guys um, to see the card. So that you can see who is where and what is transpired. So I see that some of you are going to be really, really having some issues. Oh my God, I can't. Having some issues, okay? So this reading is from um, the 20th until the 26th. So we are going to be taking a look at what is coming up, what is transpiring. Um, this is just a test. Um, let me know how you guys find this because it's just a test. So we're kind of showing you how this is going to be transpiring. So let's um, just bring it here. Okay, guys. So this is just a test for this um, month. So please leave a message. Let me know how you guys um, find this test. So, okay. So what is coming up is that we have, um, here is where we are going to be dealing with the people who were born um, on the 20th. You're dealing with the energy of the devil in this year. Um, the, de the energy of the devil has to do with uh, a cancer person, okay? So you cancers are dealing with some issues, dealing with the energy of the devil. However, that is coming up in a strength part. So we got to be aware of the energies around you. So um, let's get in this and let's focus and see um, what is coming out and transpiring. So we have the energy of the devil. We have the seven of cups. Um, and it has to do with a scorpion um, woman. So um, whoever this energy of the devil and um, the seven of cups has to do with a scorpion person. So you have to be aware, have to be aligned with the energies of what is transpiring. So um, you are dealing with emotions. So the energy of the devil is creating some ups and down emotions for you guys in this year. So you got to be aware of it and you have to be on track of what, what is um, going on. So you have to be really, really, um, it, is, it is going to be an emotional year. Okay. It's going to be such an emotional year for you guys. So be aware of that. So, so the alignment of energies are going to be coming out and you're going to be definitely seeing that. And um, whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring is that there is a whole lot of issues that is going to be happening and transpiring. So you got to be very, very um, aware of the issues and situation that is going to be coming up for you guys, especially with people who are born on the 20th, because you're having a lot of emotional energies and it's going to be affecting the young ladies that is having a whole lot of emotional energies. So, um, be aware of the transition that is going to be transpiring because a whole lot of transition is going to be coming up and they're all emotional and they're they're created by all the 
um, people that is uh, has created some real emotional issues and situation in your world and you've got to be on top of your game so whoever is born on the 20th this is the energy of the 20th you're dealing with some real emotional situation ups and down um, that is coming up and transpiring and you got to be really on top of your game because there's a lot of issue and a lot of situation that is coming up and is transpiring so um, be grateful, but also understand that you need to deal with these issues, especially for you younger ladies. So then as we look at the people who were born on the 21st, I see a new start is coming up and you're standing your ground. So I see the energy of the nine of pentacles is here. So some of you are going to be receiving some money and um, to create a new start. So people who were born on the 21st, you are going to be having a new start in this year where you're standing your ground and you're really pushing forward, um, pushing forward in such a way and you're going to be gaining a lot of money um, and you're going to be creating your financial wealth, which is very good. This new start is moving you out of a cycle that you were dealing with and it is pushing you in a cycle where things are going to be much better for you and you're going to be alive and aligned with the positive energies where you're going to be learning to create a lot of money so however this is happening and transpiring i see creation is coming in and uh, um you are going to be creating money in such a way that you're going to be bringing back stability in your world as we move and look at the people who were born on uh, um the 20 um second we see the energy of the world and this is a really good um, uh, energy to have uh, the energy of the world because it's a year of the um, of 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 um, the a water year. It is a water year for you guys, so it's a beautiful year. So what is happening for the people who are born on the twenty second is that a cycle is over. Some of you were dealing with a fire sign person, and this fire sign person has created a whole lot of issue, a whole lot of blocks for you. And the cycle is over for the fire sign person. This person is going to be removed out of your life, and this is definitely a person because some of you, some people will say, "Well, um, yeah, well, you are not standing up for yourself." No, it has to do with a person, a situation you were dealing with. This person was trying to block your financial stability, whoever this person is and was. And now I see that they are removing this person, um, or you are removing this person in order to create a your balance your financial stability and your balance okay so be aware of this because uh, whatever is transpiring is as if this person has been um and it's not for all of you it's just so for some of you a cycle is over a cycle is going to be over with someone someone in your life some um one who has created some issues and some deceptiveness in your life and the cycle is now over and you are just picking up yourself and moving forward and rebuilding your financial stability and this is going to be extremely good so this is a wonderful alignment of energies that is coming up and that is transpiring then as we look at the people who were born on the 23rd um we miss one so the people who were born on the 23rd we have the energy of the sun and with the energy of the sun, you're going to be moving forward, moving forward, overcoming um, people and situations. Some of you are in a relationship with a fire sign person or some of you who have been um, dealing with um, your father and a brother or your partner and their um, a father, some in-law issues. I see you're really getting over um, this issue and the situation and getting out of uh, um, this deceptive play that was transpiring. So you have the energy of the sun. It's going to be a beautiful year overcoming issues with men. Okay. Overcoming issues with a fire sign men. Overcoming issues with people in power. Overcoming deceptive issues and situation that was at play. So um, a whole lot of you are going to success your boss. Okay. There is the energy of successing your boss. Okay. Whoever this person is and whatever that is transpiring i see a whole lot of you are going to be um successing your boss and this is going to be good because whoever your boss is and whatever they have done 
um, I see you're going to be successing, overcoming people in power, people who have used their power because you have the energy of the sun. So actually, this is a very beautiful year for you um, where you're overcoming and especially men is going to be having some real um, wonderful lucky breaks in your life, real wonderful lucky breaks in your life that is going to be creating a lot of wealth. Okay. And that is going to be good. Um, so you Leo's. So um, you're a Leo Cancer. You're on the cups of the Leo Cancer. So um, 20, 21st, 23rd, uh, 20, <laughs> 21st, 22nd. So here we begin with the energy of the Leo. So you begin with your own um, um, series uh, with the energy of the sun. So you Leo, young men are going to be very lucky. And Leo people who are business people is going to be like very lucky, especially if you were born on the 23rd of, uh, um, uh, especially if you were born on the 23rd of uh, July, okay? Um, so, as we move forward, we're looking at the people who were born on the 21st of the uh, 20. 4th of July, I see a lot of secrets, information is coming out about a young um, a young person. Now, whoever this person is, this, you're connected to this person. It could be a child, um, it, it could be young people, but whatever is transpiring, you're connecting. So a lot of you are going to be having some issues in this year dealing with a young man that is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, because I see some secrets is going to be coming out about this person. Whether this person is, is, is can be a man or a woman, but whatever is transpiring, it has to do with someone that you are connected to that uh, created some sort of an issue. And I see truths are going to be coming out because secrets is coming out about this person and something that they have done. Whatever it is and whatever is transpiring, I see secrets is definitely coming out about this person and whatever the secrets or deceptiveness that they have done and have created in your world. So I see um, a lot of you are going to be finding out things that has transpired things that people have created the deceptiveness and things that people have created in order to facilitate themselves and i see a whole lot of you are going to be realizing that your intuition was right about this uh, um person and this person is someone who could be connected to you whether it's a child or you're in a relationship but this person has the energy of your heart so a whole lot of information and secrets is going to be coming out. So be aware of this because you're seeing this situation is excelling and it's excelling in a way where a whole lot of com communication, a whole lot of information. This is about secrecy. This is about the coming out of secrecy or you could be speaking to this person and speaking up in whatever way it is. Then we're looking at people who are born on the 25th. It is going to be a, ju um, a judgment time, but I see you're going to be having help. Whatever is transpiring, I see success is going to be coming in and a whole lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming issues and situations that other people has created for you. And this is going to be very, very wonderful and positive. So um, this is going to be an alignment of positive alignment of energy that is going to be coming up and a transition that is going to be coming in where it's going to be um, showing you guys uh, how beautiful um, this is going to be um, coming out for you guys and how satisfactory and beautiful it is going to be. So I see um, 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 turnover, breakthroughs, unexpected success is going to be coming for you. Help is going to be coming for you. Things are going to be transpiring in your world and this is going to be good. As we look at the people who are born on the 26th, um, you are seeing and shedding light on information about uh, um, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, and I see a lot of news, a lot of information, a lot of news is going to be coming to you from this person. Whoever this person is, this person is um, a 50 years and older, there could be a mother figure that a lot of you are going to be communicating with, or an older person that a lot of you are going to be communicating with. And however, this is going to be coming up and transpiring, I see a lot of you are communicating with this person. And what this is doing is that it is bringing out a whole lot of positive um, stability for you in your world. And it is creating wonderful alignment of energies also for you. So this is good and it's very positive and you're going to be realizing and seeing 
what is transpiring for you because you're going to be alert of what is transpiring now this was the general energy it's just for everyone but what we're going to be looking at is that um the year reading is that everything that is accumulated in this uh, um from the 20th until the 26th is going to affect all of you so let's say that you were um born on um the 20th um you will start off with this energy but you're going to be ending with this energy so you're going to be working all the energy if you are born on the 26th you're going to be starting out with this energy but you're going to be ending with this energy um so just for um th this person is going to start off with this energy and then you work that energy and you come back to the first energy so be aware of what is going to be happening and transpiring so we see the energy of the devil some of you are dealing with a um leo person so be aware of this then we see um an emotional new start is going to be coming up for a lot of you and this is going to be good and this is why i advise you guys to ask for a birthday reading a birthday reading show you exactly what is going to be happening in each month and as you do a birthday reading you are on top of your game because you know exactly what is coming up for you because that reading is programmed and tailored to you so you have a 12 month bowl by bowl series of what is going to be happening and transpiring so along with a general reading and it's good to become a member of the channel because it connects you you become very very connected um with the reading and the programming of the reading so be aware of that so if you are um because i do monthly readings um um, a whole lot of people order their monthly readings in order for them to be on top of their game, especially business people. They order their monthly readings in order to know what is coming up for their business. So um, whether or not you're a business person, it is good to order a monthly reading or as you guys, this is a year reading. It is good to order year readings, whether or not you are a business person or you are just for your own birthday give yourself a birthday gift because that helps you to understand what is going to be coming up when the changes when money is going to be coming in it touches on so much things because we also go and look at the six hours what is going to affect your marriage what is going to affect your friendship what is going to affect contracts and business so it is good for you guys to really connect and um all the your birthday readings um it's always advised a month before your birthday or a week before a mince a week before your birthday um you can still order your birthday reading because the week is um uh, um here so you can order your birthday reading but it is very advisable for you guys to order your birthday reading and from the people who have never had a reading from me it's mind-blowing a lot of people comes back <laughs> i have recurring clients coming back and back because of the the correct um way um that your guides and angel works with me in order to um align you and alert you to what is coming up so ladies and gentlemen i really do um love you guys i gotta go but i'm going to be saying namaste until next time um, I'm asking you to enjoy your year because it's going to be a year of a lot of success for you guys. Um, because of the ending water, because we end water here, um, the 20th, 21st and 22nd, and then we begin with the Leo season. It brings a lot of, uh, um, and especially the Cancer Leos, I see a whole lot of positive energies where you're getting over some issues that you were dealing with. I see money is going to be coming up. So this is going to be good. I see a lot of you are successful over a young fire sign person that tries to create a lot of issues and that sort of a thing. So I'm leaving you guys here. I'm moving along and I am going to be saying I love you guys and I will speak to you um, next week. Please remember to go check out the weekly readings. Namaste until next time. Thank you.